for a second. Now it's Thursday. Uh, how are you guys all doing? We, uh, the beans, beans have been recovered. The beans have been recovered. I found my beans. Hang on. Let me hit this one. Beans are back. It's like beans are back on the menu, boys. Uh, let me plug this in. Goes out like nine and a half hours. How did you manage? Nice uh, how did you bark, manage? Fly, bark, fly, bark, fly. Uh, I went crying and wetting myself to third wall, and I had help from uh, third wall and uh, Bizangles on Discord, and there was a number of people who uh, who were able to help out and get our uh, get our safe back. So, um, they they uh, they're, there's some uh, Mario World wizards out there, and they uh, the creators of the hack they know what's going on. I think it has something specifically to do with the uh, S, the uh, analog. Analog, I think it does, the, but uh, who knows, who knows? No big deal, you know, a little bit. Uh, we got our save back, so we should not be losing any progress here. Uh, let me hit this button, let's get the timing. Crying, screaming, throwing up, nah, nah. I, I knew they could get it back pretty easily, so I wasn't too worried about that. I'm not sure, something specifically related to the, uh, to the SNES that I'm using, something specifically to that. So uh, I shouldn't be losing my, my save anymore. Maybe I should make a backup every time or something. I don't know. Maybe I could do that. Anywho, uh, we're jumping back into Beans. We're playing Mario World today. And uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll swap games over later. We shall see. But um, no, no, I'm back on my SCDS nest. Back on my SCDS nest. Uh, I, I just copy the save into this one and replace the old save. And that's all it takes. Uh, yeah, yeah, they got my file not, um, they got specifically the file and not, uh, not a complete file, but either way. Our beautiful boy, back for another day. Mm -hmm. Uh, yo, I am steak for 70 months, thank you very much, appreciate that. Yeah, maybe I should make a backup or something, I don't know. Anyway, uh, thank you, I am Staranya, thank you for the sub. Oliver, thank you for the sub. Dr. Swarkeen, Aragot, thank you for the sub. Lol Fair, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that, thank you guys. Uh, how are you guys? Happy, uh, Thursday. Uh, jump back to Mario World. We'll see if we play this all day. I'm not sure. Um, I don't want to check out uh, tomorrow. I think I'm going to be checking out Dragon's Dogma and uh, Rise of the Ronin, I think is the plan for tomorrow. So uh, the true friendship, you can cry and wet yourself and your friends out. I, I didn't I didn't actually cry and wet myself. I just asked for help. <laughs> I just asked for help. Uh, just had a haircut so you look a little less ugly. Hey, there you go. Uh, Real Gadian, thank you for 36 months. Thank you, Real Gadian. Yeah, a whole bunch of games coming out all at once. A whole bunch of games coming out all at once. Uh, all right, let's do it. Even if I had to somehow, like, like repeat a level or something, I wouldn't be too mad about it. I think this was the, this was the last level we just did. Uh, we were here. Oh, let me start the timer. How did I fix the save? Uh, I had help from, um, I had help from the devs. Uh, there was also Bizangles on Discord, so it's uh, let me let me make sure I'm shouting out Third Wall Bizangles was great. Uh, also had help from uh, G Breeze and Daiso, so I was able to get some help from the from the people that made the game basically. So, but Under Rock was coming out, so tomorrow um, tomorrow is uh, Dragon's Dogma Two, or it comes out in like 12 hours or something like that. And then there's also Rise of the Ronin, which is the new Team Ninja game. Um, and, uh, who knows? I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. I have no idea. Also, I think the Princess Peach game comes out tomorrow, which, uh, I may, I may give that one a pass. I may give that one a pass. We'll see. Uh, Thomas Laxton Nuisance. Okay. I don't, I don't understand the reference, but let's take a look. I'm going to play baby game for baby. I might skip that one. Ah, so these uh, these disappear after one jump. Gotcha. Hmm. Okay. Uh, General KDI, I think for the sub. I've, it's amazing how I've timed that wrong every time. Oh, you know who knows? Who knows? No Princess Peach cosplay. I hope Ronan is good for it. But waiting to see what level high, level headed, uh, level minded gamers think instead of media and review sites. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like often if I want to see if a game is good or bad, I'll probably like watch a Twitch stream for like a few seconds. 
Uh, okay, I'm not sure what to do there. Looking for at the game's team engine, they, they developed a uh, Metroid Other M. There's some Team Ninja games that I fucking love, man. I love, like, Dead or Alive 3, 2, 3, and 4. I love those games. Um, took me a while to come around on Neo, but uh, I like the Neo games, too. I sold you on Armored Core. Did you enjoy it overall? I really enjoyed Armored Core. Shit. I guess I should have been standing slightly farther right. Yeah, I enjoyed Armored Core 6. I think one of, you know what's weird is that one of my favorite things in Armored Core 6 is actually the multiplayer. I kind of wish the multiplayer took off. It was fun to commentate the matches too. <laughs> it was just fun. There we go. Okay, so I think I jump up throw the shell hit the shell and then like i spin jump or something a little confusing oh yeah the with the the double flame throwers on that dude i was actually i was actually kind of low-key cracked at the armored core 6 multiplayer i was actually pretty goddamn good at it <laughs> oops Oh, and the multiplayer was the balancing wasn't very good. Uh, yeah, I think the balancing of Armor Core 6 is a little suspect, but I mean, so is the balancing of Elden Ring. <laughs> Shoot fast and eat ass. I think that's, uh, is that zombie patches that always does that? I think it is. Okay, I, I think I see the way to do I think I, I think I understand. I think I got it. Hot Wheels. Yeah, it was Hot Wheels and it was an Armored Core 6. Okay, I, I think that's it. Uh, oh, okay, I don't get it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Progress. Uh, what's up, Beyond John? Yes, yes. Thank you to... Uh, thanks to some enterprising individuals. I have my save. No harm, no foul. Definitely not mad. I got to play Neo last night. No hard feelings about that whatsoever. Shit happens. It's really hard on the Super Nintendo nowadays, like... I feel like I have a peek at what it's like to be like a PC game dev, like a peek at it. You got some people on the a regular Super Nintendo. You got some people on like one of 10 different emulators. You've got people on the analog, the, the Super NT. You've got like people are running on all different kinds of shit and somebody's gonna have an issue on one console. Somebody's on the, you know, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Now you imagine that if it's, what if it's PC, and people get mad that something doesn't run right. I mean, I feel like that must be really frustrating to dev for. It'd be really annoying. Neo's been such a good time. You enjoying Neo? You've been asking me to play Neo like forever. <laughs> I have a tiny peek behind the curtain. I don't know why it got deleted, but I think it's related to the Super NT. I don't know why. I think also uh, DeWild Grim had an issue too. Uh, he went to the same level and also got his save deleted. So something about that level in particular is deleting saves. Uh, near infinite version, of right, sure. Yeah, exactly. One of my all to my all time favorites to watch. I, you know, I, I wish I liked the axes more. I'm not a big fan of the double axes. I've got I've got Neo figured out. There's certain weapons I really like in Neo. I should just respec and stop using the axes, honestly. <laughs> I didn't do that. Uh is Neo on P yeah, I'm, I'm, I played Neo one and now I'm playing Neo two on PC. Uh, 
Uh, oops. I do like the spear in Nia too. I found some weapons just seem straight up bad. I don't think the axe is bad. I don't think it's bad. It's just, uh, it's just not my favorite. I don't, uh, I don't gel with the play style too much. Uh, no, I, I ended up, I got my save back. Got it back. I love, yeah, I love the Nodachi. I know the damage output is really bad. It is, it's really bad, isn't it? Like it takes me forever. Like it took me forever to kill like Magoichi Saika, right? That guy's just like a nerd. You can just fucking beat his ass. I know because I've beaten his ass before. Last night he's like kicking my ass. I see what I have to do there. Uh, I'm just having trouble doing it. Let me know why you watch a clip. It goes to full screen. Uh, I don't know. Very spacey with slow damage. I supposed to dual swords into the game. Oh, uh, you're talking about the double axes? Yeah, I like. I, I definitely like dual swords better than double axes for sure. Definitely like the uh, the dual swords better. Right onto it. Damn. Uh, SMW re recreated from memory. That was a really fun time. That was a really fun time. And I enjoyed playing SMW from memory. Some stuff seemed like pretty close to me and other stuff was like, this is outrageously wrong. <laughs> Jump off the bean! The spear in Neo 2 does feel really good. Yeah, it feels... I In Neo 2, I'd say my favorite weapons would be the, uh, the Nodachi, the spear, and dual swords, for sure. Spear is very good. Beans spear beans the good. musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Is this true? Dude, I, I'm, I'm jumping off there. I'm not getting the jump for some reason. Uh, Crow Pat, thank you for the 41 months. Thank you, Crow Pat. It's super, it does, it does gaslight you. It really does. It's like, is this what it was? That, uh, what was that level? Was it like Lemmy's Fortress or something like that? That level was insane in that hack. The guy put so many potobos. Whoa, did you see that shit? What the fuck was that? That level was insane how many fucking, uh, how many potobos he put. Solo Sword is very good. Yeah, Solo Sword is very good. I don't like Kusari Gama. I'm not a Kusari Gama guy. I don't like it. Don't like Kusari Gama. Kusari Gama feels like Use high stance and nothing else. Oh boy. Okay, I have to... You know, close, close. Think about them beans, close. Miss. Ah.
Man, that part is so difficult. I wonder if I'm doing that part wrong. That part's so hard. I'm doing that part wrong. I got you into playing Shovel Knight, so thank you. Oh, you enjoying Shovel Knight? Really like Shovel Knight. All the expansions are also really good. Um, my, I think my favorite expansion is actually Plague Knight. But uh, they're all really good. Right onto it. I have an idea of something I could try there. Hmm. Okay, well, that's a lot easier. <laughs> that's a hell of a lot easier than what I was trying to do. There we go. That was a lot easier than what I was trying to do. Uh, King of Cards had some really good level design. Uh, I, I like King of Cards a lot. I do like it a lot. How did I fix the save? I asked for help from uh, Third Wall. Fun. Third Wall knows Jump Team a lot better than I do. Um, and uh, they, they helped out. Also, Bizangles on Discord also was a huge help, so. Uh, Camus, thank you for the 41 months. Appreciate that. Thank you, Camus. Cronolin, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, I think what I have to do is I have to go on the right one first. Yeah, third wall is uh, part of jump team, I guess. I went crying like a bitch. Exactly. <laughs> My yeah, I had, a, I was livid last night. I had a, I had a meltdown over it. My saves. You guys know me. I'm a furious. When I get furious, man, you should have seen it. It was a sight to see. I think I have to wait there. I think I have to wait. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Son of a bitch. This really bitter guy, yeah, you know. Never seen so many tears on stream, it's true. I got my beans back, I found my beans. I, I don't think you could find a more sympathetic person on tech issues than me. For, for ROM hacks after, after Grand World 3. I don't think you could literally find a more sympathetic person. Oh my god, wow! No, the entire hack is beans. Yeah, it's all beans. <laughs> the whole thing is beans, man. Uh, oops. Rise Run is getting 7 out of 10 reviews. Uh, yeah. I mean... I don't know if I trust review aggregate websites like IGN and, and other ones. I don't know if I trust them. I mean, I'm still gonna play it myself. I, I think Dragon's Dogma is getting like 8 out of 10 reviews and shit too, so... Uh, well, you know, we'll see. Skyward Sword got a 10 out of 10, and they said, move over, Ocarina of Time. A new greatest Zelda game of all time is here, so do I really trust them? I don't know. Uh, plays in your analog, great hack. Uh, evil shy guy. Uh, you may want to be careful because I lost my save on a level. Uh, maybe make backups of your save if you know if you know how. Maybe make backups of your save. 
Uh, apparently, I think me and the Wild Grim were losing progress. I lost my entire progress last night. Um, be careful. Be careful if you can. If you want to make a save, uh, I think all you have to do is go take your uh, copy the SRM, right? Yeah, just be careful of that. Copy of that. Oh man. Uh, seven isn't even a bad review. Kind of done. Glad they're dumbing the combat down a little. I don't really have the time to become a samurai. I just hope the game's fun. Well, I think uh, Wo Long dumbed the combat down, and it ended up being like it was flashier but more shallow than like Neo. You know. It all looked cool, but it all depends. One of my favorite all-time games is Sekiro, and Sekiro's combat is like you press R1 to hit, and you hold R1 for a heavy hit, right? Yeah, back in the days of um, back in the days of Electronics Gaming Monthly, if a game got like a seven, I'd be like, ah, you know, maybe I want to play this game. Be careful here. I've died here. I haven't made it past this part. Oh man, fuck that part. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have to. Really appreciate that this level is like a sequence of just like difficult jumps. I appreciate that. I suspect the uh, nines and tens on review sites. What changed your mind about Neo? So like I played it the first time and like I hated it. I was like, oh my God, this game is fucking shit. I fucking hate this game. Uh, for some reason I went, I played it again. The second time I played it, like I had a much better time with it. It was like, I understood a lot of the systems already and like kind of knew what I was doing. I tried out new weapons. Uh, I think I, I want to say I played Neo one twice or something. And that was right before Neo two came out. And I think with Neo 2, like, that's where I was just straight up, like, this game is fucking sick with Neo 2. That's where I was like, man, I love this game. I think Neo 2 really, really was, like, the point where I was like, okay, now I like Neo, for sure. Yeah, I, I really think that, like, 90% of Neo players, like, hated the game at one point. I really think that's the case. Oh God! What the fuck? I love Neo One and I love Neo and hated Neo Two. I had to come back later before before I enjoyed Neo Two. I think that's their best. Hopefully, Rise of the Rona reaches that. Yeah, we'll see, man. I guess they want it. They want to do different things than Neo. Honestly, we'll see. Yeah, this it's just a game that it's like an acquired taste. It takes a little while to get into it. Oh, fuck you. It's very helpful to see uh, uh, Barber King Co. play Neo before you try it. Yeah, if you watch somebody play it, you kind of get an idea of like how to play it yourself. See, one thing I didn't do when I first played Neo is like my, my assumption in Neo when I went into it was like, I don't have to worry about magic and ninjutsu. Like, I'm just going to be an act guy. That's it. And like, so like basically you're signing up for hard mode. <laughs> like you got to use this other stuff. If you're not using this other stuff, you're like, you're really limiting yourself. Wow. Right, right. No PS5 gun, very excited for the Ghost of Tsushima port. Looks like Rise of the Rona may not be better than Ghosts. Uh, yeah, we'll see, man.
uh, uh, Ghost of Tsushima is an awesome game. I kind of wouldn't expect them to be too similar. I expect them to be too similar. I did not restart. No, I have. A, I got. A, I got my save fixed, or at least the, let's say I got a new save. Damn it! Yeah, yeah. I dude, I discovered the Agio and Ungio shit after like seventy hours. Wasn't it my? I feel like I discovered it on my second playthrough. Actually, I was like. What the fuck are Agios and Ungios? And I have like 70 points in both. And it's like, I never use this. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. The hell are Agios and Ungios? Thought I was dead. They see uh, Ichigo's Katana assuming all plays the same. Yeah, why? Well, just don't people just don't know the difference between the games <laughs> i prefer unga bunga uh oops oops oh my god I, you know i actually totally forgot that there are items on the overworld in neo i completely forgot about that <laughs> That's true. I think those items are mostly pointless though, but there are items hidden on the overworld of Neo, right? I actually completely forgot about that. Let me put it to you this way. If you go in, like, let's say you're like a Dark Souls pro and you go into Neo, it's like, imagine you can speak like, imagine you can speak, you can speak Latin and now all of a sudden you're trying to speak Italian. Like, yeah, there's some similarities, sure, but there, it's like, a, it, it is a completely different language and uh, you're gonna have to learn a lot of new stuff and unlearn some stuff. It's not the same thing. Or like, you know what's a better thing? Like going from Dark Souls 3 to learning Sekiro. Like a lot of Dark Souls players got fucked up in Sekiro because they didn't know what they were doing and they tried to apply lessons that did not work anymore, right? Like that's a pretty good one. It's kind of a similar situation. Yeah, key pulsing is huge. Stances are important. There's a lot to Neo. This is where we died. Ooh. Almost died at the end. That was a cool level. That was cool. It was a lot of... It's kind of funny. This was supposed to be a Kaiser level, but it was significantly easier than the last level. It was like way easier than the last level. But that was a really cool level. I enjoyed that one. Uh, yeah, this level is like three beans, not a Kaiza level. I was like, okay, not so bad. This level has two beans and it's Kaiza, the red means it's Kaizo, but this was uh, significantly easier than this level was. I can tell you that. Yeah, the drunkard is fucking hard as shit. Uh, seafood. Oh boy, seafood. Three beans, Kaizo. Bean of advice, give Yoshi a mouthful. So I can't spit it out. He ate his beans. Um... Now, how would I get the green beans? Oh, can I like... It's a big green bean. Maybe I can like jump over the top? Yeah, I'm actually not sure how to do... What does it want me to do here? Huh. War. Uh, 
Uh, warp how? Spit it out. You can't spit. The beans left and right warp? Wait, wait, wait. So if I do that there... No. Yeah, I don't know. I've never... If this is a, a left and right warp. I don't know if... No, Yoshi's going to go right through the speaker. Uh, it has to be on the screen on the left side. Okay, so if I do this, thanks for all the content the last. I, I have, have never fucking seen that ever. I have Maker. never seen that. <laughs> you are funny, amazing, and while I can't always subscribe to you, I still love watching you keep up the good fun and be I've yourself. never seen that shit. Hope you get uh, many memories with the twins. Don't miss out on anything. Much love, Yashigurla. Uh, Yoshi girl, thank you for 47 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you for watching. I totally understand if you can't subscribe all the time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, try to miss, try to miss as little as possible, but somebody does have to work. Unfortunately, somebody does have to work. Okay. I think, oh my God. I think that's what I do. Somebody has to work. Unfortunately. <laughs> You made a fucked up secret exit in Tabea too with that. I remember. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, this is fucked. <laughs> oh man. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so awkward. I know, it's really awkward. Hmm. Uh, like a little slight wave. Dear Barn, I always have the money to subscribe. Sometimes I just choose to withhold it to feel powerful. Paco Gutierrez, thank you for 600 bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. What the hell am I doing here? Is it screen wrap? Um, can I just fall down here with Yoshi and the green beans and, and it'll work, actually? Can I just do that? <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works or not. I get it. I think I get it. I think I get it. Hang on. I think I brain brain activate. I think I got it. Uh, Link dead. Thank you for 84 months. Thank you, Link dead. Appreciate it, man. Hope you're well. Damn it. Damn it. I got it. I got it. Brain activate. I see what to do. Out. <laughs> really funny. Uh, okay, now I don't know what to do, but that's what I do there. Uh, now what?
Okay, right, I don't know what to do here. Uh. Hmm. What the hell am I doing here? Same, but with the blue switches, so like. Like, I put Yoshi here. Green bean up. Off that? Is that? That was gonna. I don't know. Maybe that's what I'm doing? Uh, drop him down the red. Drop him down the red. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, a little too late, I think. Oh, and then from there, I, I, so I do that. And then from there, I go to the right. Oh, but I, I don't want Yoshi to go up. I don't want Yoshi to go up like that. Okay. Okay. I think I get it. How did I get the save? Uh, I asked for help from third wall who knows the jump team and he was able to get some help for me. Uh, the devs themselves gave me this save file. Um, also, there was Bizangles on Discord was a big help. Thank you, baby. Beams give me purpose. Right there, then I jump over and then go to the right. And then I, I save Yoshi from falling. Uh, Haru, thank you for the three months. Thank you very much. Uh, like I said, like I said, you will not find in this entire world of Super Mario World, you will not find a more sympathetic person when it comes to, like, tech issues and ROM hacks, you will not find a more sympathetic person on this planet. Shit happens. They were able to fix it. No harm, no foul. I'm all good. The worst thing that had to happen is that last night I had to play Neo too. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. So <laughs> I'm pretty okay with that. Uh, thank you, Haru. Uh, Breakfast Core, thank you for the 10 months. Thank you, Breakfast Core. for me. Thanks, Burr. Is this Coco Cavern from Kirby? Yeah, it's from Kirby. Yeah, this is from Kirby, but I don't remember which one in particular. All Kirby music kind of sounds alike after a while. I think I got too big of a jump there Watch and I, I wasn't able to save Yoshi for a while. Uh, Spectre, thank you for the 35 months. Yeah, Third Wall is, is a really, really nice dude. He's a really nice dude. We hung out at the uh, GDQ a couple of years ago. Really good dude. Hmm. Suddenly Blarg. Beans come in a can. They were put there by a man in a factory downtown. Ah, uh, the sack has been very fun. Yeah, it's also been very tough. A lot harder than like I feel like it would it would have seemed. Like you'd think like a a bean hack would be like yeah, it's a bean hack. You know whatever. It's been really tough. Hmm. We're winning teammates. That's true. Ah. What's up, uh, James Deese? How are you? Good morning.
Mm -hmm. uh, something went wrong. Something went wrong. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, I think it was exactly where I left off. Yeah, that's that's where the save was. It was exactly where I left off. Oh, Crimson, how's it going, man? I think my copy of the book should get here before the weekend, so I'm excited to get some reading in this weekend. Uh, I know nothing about college basketball. I'm sorry. <laughs> Never been one for college sports, honestly. So, I guess getting hit does not... So, like, you have to do this in a very particular way. Because, um... The, like, you can't, like, mess up that jump because you then the eat timer is going to be too low. It's going to be too short. Uh, Lars, thank you for the sub. Spectre, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Oh, I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. First two chapters have been good. Mystery is definitely not a genre for me, but I enjoyed it. That sounds good. Uh, I feel like I haven't read that many mysteries overall. I know I've, I've read... I, in college, I read some Sherlock Holmes stuff. I can't say I was like a big fan of what I read. I think I read Hound of the Baskervilles and I just like didn't really care for it very much. <laughs> uh, Safe for it. Thank you for 64 months. Thank you very much. Wow. 64 months already. Makes me want to. All right, Safe for it. Thank you very much. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, okay. Like, better. Not quite there. Hmm. Okay. Almost? Uh, this hack has been crazy fun. This hack has been crazy fun. I really enjoyed it. Very fun so far. Very well made. Uh, very unique. Very enjoyable. I don't think I've found a level that I was like, this level is awful. Like every level has been enjoyable. Now I wouldn't say like I've enjoyed every level the exact same, but uh, some levels have been, uh, it's just been a really good time. Okay, so the, my problem there was I lost Yoshi. And I lost Yoshi. Uh, I mean, really, like, the, yeah, there's there's a couple of times you'll die in this hack because you couldn't get a jump off the of green beans, but the green beans in this hack are used in such a creative way that uh, truly awe-inspiring what they were able to achieve with the lowly springboard sprite. We're getting the hang of this. Uh, oops, fucked up. Doing the sheer jank of them in vanilla. You just like this thing before and I don't like it. Well, I think um, when it comes to ROM hacks and, and green beans, typically it's like, here's a really tight jump with a green bean. And like, that's the, that's, 
the end of it. You know, like that's all there is to it. They're not really used mechanically in a way that's like particularly interesting. So the problem there is the usage of the green bean, not the green bean itself, you know? Like, go really fast, get this jump off a of green bean, right? And it's just, uh, you know, I, I don't have anything specifically against green beans. Like, I, I don't, I hate them or something. There's a lot of interesting applications as this hack proves. Ah, see, I fucked up. Ah, uh, what we played earlier on. You sound anti-bean, not anti-bean. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta really get the hockey Yoshi to the right there. This is a cool level so far. <laughs> I haven't had cauliflower since I was a kid. It's kind of flavorless, isn't it? It's like not, not like, not a super strong flavor. Anti-British beanery. Yes, with the help of uh, Third Wall, Bizangles, and a couple other people, I was able to get my save back. We're back in. We're back in bees in in beansness. Oh, shit. Allergies are killing you today? What they do? Um, they probably just man- they- I'm, I'm assuming they manually created, like, a save that replicated, like, which exits I had done and where I was, pretty much. And, um... So hopefully they didn't have to play through all the levels and do that. They probably have, like, a cheat way to do that, I would guess. Uh, however they did it, I'm extremely grateful. Um, damn. Deep fried anything is good. I disagree with you, actually. Sometimes frying stuff makes it way worse. Like, uh, morsel did a speed run. There you go. I'll give you my example would be shrimp. I think deep frying shrimp ruins them. I think you're ruining the shrimp. Yeah, it's, whatever it is, it's super NT related. I don't like fried shrimp. I think with fried shrimp, you're not tasting shrimp. What you're tasting is the fry batter only. And uh, I don't know, not a fan. Can I eat it? Sure. Would I, I just strongly prefer grilled shrimp. Shrimp on the grill is amazing. Ah, uh, that's a lot of bullshit, man. <laughs> Close, close. The fuck just happened? Uh, a lot of stuff happened, actually. <laughs> well, my brain was keeping up, and I did a lot, and then uh, wasn't keeping up anymore. <laughs> and then it wasn't keeping up. I see what has to happen there. I see what has to happen. I, in my entire life, I can't think of a time I had fried shrimp, and I was like, this is awesome. However, I can absolutely remember having grilled shrimp and think like, this is amazing. Like even the fucking worst hibachi restaurant ever is gonna have banger grilled hibachi shrimp. Like literally like the lamest, shittiest hole in the wall uh, hibachi place is gonna have like amazing fucking shrimp.
Okay, you know what I gotta do is I have to I, I'm I have to wait. I'm, I know what I'm doing wrong there. I see. I'm hitting I'm hitting it too soon. I gotta wait. The fuck am I watching? What's up, Sabin? How are you? Shrimp is a food I so rarely eat because Katie hates it. And I never eat shrimp. Extremely rare for me. I did. I managed to get my save thanks to the help of a couple of individuals. Sea bugs. I should use Katie to prawn. Common Katie W. You have you have shrimp around Christmas time. That's a weird Christmas food. Uh, well, I think we were kind of accidentally doing this. <laughs> we are kind of accidentally doing this. Um. Okay. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I was doing it by accident, and now I have to figure out how to do it not on accident. Is Yoshi smoking? He's got beans in his mouth. Is Yoshi eating beans? The devil's lettuce. He's thinking about beans. Uh, how the hell am I doing this? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, dismounting while Yoshi's falling make a difference. Uh, well, if you're, if I'm, if I'm ditching Yoshi in here, that's going to be difficult. Ah, hmm. uh, almost. Him close? Can you run and ditch? Ah! You can't, once you get the beans in your mouth, you can't spit them out. They, they taste too good. Yoshi doesn't want to give them up. Why is Yoshi Sir, turning the way I he is? Test. I am not a married man! Uh, is horizontal speed a factor really here? I don't think sick. so. Uh, Simply Steve, thank you for the 21 months. Thank you very much. <laughs> there you go. GG. Sure. Sure. <laughs> That's what, dude, I was accidentally doing that for a while. That was a really good level. That was a really fun level. I missed it. Can you do it again? Yeah, that was very fun. Uh, okay, now the struggle is I have to find a level. I have to find where to go. Uh, a bit a bit of a maze on the overworld here. Let's go find a level I haven't done. Nice. Where have I not been? So I did this level. 
Uh, thank you very much, Nick Finn, for 69 months. Thank you very much. Um, where is a level I haven't done? Did that one. Did these. These are all marked. Uh, did this one. Did that one. Did that one. Uh, Yoshi's Bean Land. Okay, so this is this is just a, a music level. That's just a music level. Oh, I don't think I got the secret exit in this level. I don't think I got the secret exit. Okay, let's go get the secret exit in this. Uh, there was a secret exit undone before you teleported outside of the cave. Ah, uh, that could be the case. Oh, right. Okay. I remember this level. In this level, every time you get a one-up, a bean appears. I want to Discord made a list of levels I've beaten. Oh, okay. I, I may have to use that before too long. I'm grabbing the dragon coins in case the uh, secret involves having the dragon coins. I'm not sure if it does or not. No speaker box. Yeah, the moon gives you so every time you every time you get the one up, uh, a bean appears. So that one gives you three beans. Yeesh. The secret involves the dragon coins. Ow. some rice yeah oh uh, oh uh bandersnatch thank you for the bits appreciate it man have a good stream bar hashtag eaten beans hashtag hashtag Uh, bad rad dad thank you for the 44 months thank you dude appreciate that beans this is save file from third wall or starting over either way thank you for the content and entertainment uh i was able to get my save file back thank you to third wall and to bizangles and to jump team who also uh uh, they, uh, they seem to know, they seem to have an idea of, like, what's going on. They said it has to do with something with the Super NT, so. We're back in business. Uh, I, I think, uh, I don't know, did DeWild Grim ever get his issue fixed up? I don't know if DeWild Grim got his issue, but DeWild Grim may also need help. He may also need help. Yeah, it was Daizo then. Okay, so thank you, Daizo. I don't know if I don't know if Grim got his issue fixed. Don't. Uh, Byron Love, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. How would I grab the this Yoshi coin? How would I grab this one? What does the one-up have to do with it? 
Oh, it's a screen wrap thing is what it is. Screen wrap. I, I, I'm never thinking screen wrap. There we go. Oh, it is, it is the dragon coins. It is the dragon coins. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. Neat. What a clever, this might be, I think this might be the most clever hack of all time. Everything in this fucking hack is so goddamn clever. Hmm, possibly I need to collect all the coins for a one-up here? Shit, I don't think we wanted that to happen. <laughs> I don't think we wanted that to happen. I think we might have to get all the coins. If I could be any kind of bean, what would I be? Uh, I'm gonna choose a, uh, I'll be a cocoa bean. I'm gonna choose the cocoa bean. A vanilla bean, a baked bean. I choose the cocoa bean. Will you be playing Bolt Gun again? I just finished it and I missed your first playthrough. Uh, I was not, uh, I wasn't planning on doing it anytime soon, but um, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Bolt Gun has one of my favorite guns of all time in a video game. There's a gun and bolt gun called the Heavy Bolter, and the sound of the Heavy Bolter is incredible. It just sounds so good. Damn it. Oh, that gun is so good, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that your starting gun is the bolt gun, yes? Isn't it the bolt gun? Bolters are standard space marine weapons, there you go. Damn, man. I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know for a fact, but I, I think that kills me. Any interest in the Space Marine 2 game coming out? When does that come out? When does that come out? It's it's not like, Bolt, it's not a first person shooter like Bolt Gun. It's uh, it's like a slash em up kind of game, right? Comes out in September, I'll think about it. Can you kill Lakitu? I think if you kill Lakitu, he will respawn as like a regular Lakitu, if I recall right. I think we have to, I'm pretty sure what I have to do is I have to save the one up he's carrying for later, I think, but I'm, I, I don't know, obviously. That's, fuck you. That's my assumption here, I could be wrong. No, I never played Space Marine 1, never played it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I, I don't know that for a fact, obviously. That's my that's my assumption. I'm also assuming I kind of need the coins to collect a one-up from that, too, but... We'll see. Now you have a reason to play marbles. What's up, Mitch? How's it going, dude? Oh, okay, so the coins were actually unnecessary then. Oh, don't put that somewhere bad. There you go. Uh, Leftarios, thank you for 54 months. Thank you, Leftarios. Peas and carrots. Check barbell cake, barbell cake. And you a strawberry soda. Uh, thank you, Left Arios. Appreciate the 54 months, dude. That was a cool exit. That was a cool exit. Mm. 
Thank you, Deleftarios. Appreciate the resub. All right, peas and carrots. Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, God. So it's on a timer. <laughs> Bro, that's so sick. They got some interesting ideas. It's so cool. They really thought of every horrible and great idea. They really did. Mm, the timer bean. I feel like freaking Haas watching this hack like the Vince McMahon meme. <laughs> Beans are awesome, versatile. Yeah, wasn't Vince McMahon caught up in some kind of like horrible scandal thing? I don't, I have, I don't follow any of that shit, but like some really bad shit from way back in the day. He's so yeah, yeah, he is. He's really he's so memeable though. He's so memeable. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Uh day 2021. Billionaire piece of shit is an actual billionaire piece of shit. He's trying to scapegoat everyone. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. I just I heard something about Vince McMahon. I have no idea. I don't follow. Um, don't follow. W he was still involved actively in the WWE, right? He was like still actively involved. Or did he like retire or something? I have no idea. I know nothing about Vince McMahon. I know nothing about the guy. He wow, oh, he was okay. Uh, Bandersnatch, thank you for the gift sub. Dude, I told you, I told you this hack is so hard. It's really tough, man. It's really cool, but it's really hard. Ah, oh, okay, got you. Uh, Bandersnatch, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you very much. Uh, I warned you this hack was fucking hard, man. How did I solve the save file issue? Uh, I hacked the mainframe, uh, hacked my way into the Statue of Liberty, and was able to recover my save. No problem. It's a Unix system. I know this. Uh, her, uh, what's her name? In the, uh, I can't remember her name. Lex in, in Jurassic Park. Her character in uh, the book is really annoying. <laughs> uh, her character in the book is like really, really awful. She's younger in the book. No, no, no. Uh, the child, the child. I know, I know, but like, they, it's like, it's like you went out of his way. It's like Crichton went out of his way to make it like a, to make her like a really annoying child. I mean, he succeeded. He succeeded. She's a really annoying child. You read The Lost World? I started to read The Lost World. I think I got like a hundred pages in and I was so bored. I was super bored. Most children are annoying. Not my children. <laughs> so every time every, it's funny every time we take the girls outside i get we, we i'm not sure if it's because like so they have our, our girls have very pale eyes they have uh like very light blue eyes and, and i don't know how many people have like lighter eye colors in here but like uh I, I and i don't know if this is really the case like it's a widespread thing katie's a lot more sensitive to bright lights than i am like it really it really gets to her right for me, it doesn't it doesn't fucking do anything. But both of our girls are very, um, uh, they have very pale eyes like Katie. So she goes, they, the girls go outside and they're like, they're like this. 
<laughs> we, 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 we call them like vampire baby. We actually have baby sunglasses for them, but they're like, we call them vampire babies. But when Katie cracks me up, she's always like, the children are photosensitive. <laughs> they crack me up every time. My kid loves her baby sunglasses. The children are photosensitive. The board. Uh, flash bomb, no garlic either. They're basically a vampire. Yeah, it's just weird. You never think about that, but I guess your eye color determines. I wonder, like, like what does it feel like, right? Like, what does that feel like? I don't know. Must be strange. Blue-eyed are more, indeed more sensitive to light than dark colors. That's so strange. And I, I, you know, before I met Katie and before babies, I never realized that. Sun sneezes are a pain. I mean, I sneeze a lot, but that's because of allergies, not because of baby, not because of my eyes. It burns us! What color eyes do you have? I, I think my eyes are brown, but Katie will tell you like they're hazel or something. I think my eyes are fucking shit brown. Color nerds. Katie says hazel, I say brown. <laughs> yeah, she I say real color, she says fake color, exactly. Okay, so we did that to spawn the bean. I see. Uh yes, I was able to well, not so much save, let's say uh a new save. Let's say that instead. Uh, Boo Ninho, thank you for the 63 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Oh, oops. I played all night long. I did not. No, I went to bed. Thank you. Light brown eyes. All the dude came out with gray eyes. Yeah, I mean, well, genetics are a fucking weird thing, right? Genetics are strange as fuck. Hmm. What's up, Big C? Hair is looking dapper this morning. Uh, thanks, I guess. I think I just hold right there or something? Hmm. Do we not need a content list to play the White Walker in Game of Thrones? <laughs> a long stream tomorrow? I don't know what the plan is tomorrow. We'll see. Oh. Oops. Jump! Uh, yeah, yeah, the Game of Thrones directors, uh, the theory is that, uh, they wanted to hurry through and finish Game of Thrones because they wanted to move on to Star Wars, and, uh, part of that is why Game of Thrones was, uh, especially at the end, was rushed. It's like, that's the theory, right? And then after the, uh, after the debacle of Game of Thrones, they actually lost Star Wars, which... Two shows. This way everybody loses. Damn it, dude. Yeah. The irony. Beans. Bean. They're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you. Salt. <laughs> Uh, I have 
an idea of what I need to do there? I'm a little unsure. Uh, Metaxalus, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Boot Ninho, thank you for the sub. Turbo Boost, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Oops. Game of Thrones forced Rome out. I thought Rome kind of defeat. Uh, you know, I actually think I could just made the ledge there. I thought Rome kind of defeated itself. Honestly, the TV show Rome. I thought that it was because uh, Rome was in. First of all, they filmed in Rome. Um. Hey Mario, that big old five hundred pound some bitch. Bowser just took the damn princess damn and used all the star power to put close up our toads. Now I need you to take your ass inside those paintings and recover the stars with a little bit of jumping. What? A little bit of punching. What? And a little bit of ass whooping. What? To save Princess Peach. And that's the bottom line. There. Cause Stone Toad said so. Uh, MG Scott Get it all Uh, MG Scott, thank you for the bits Uh, Paco Gutierrez Thank you for the 600 bits Thank you very much We're, we're literally getting every single alert All we need is, all we need is the 10k uh, oh, Of all the ways to die there <laughs> Uh, Silver Arrow, thank you for the 666 bits. Thank you very much. Ah. Ow. Man, that's hard. It's a pretty good B-52 sound or song. But yeah, Rome was like insanely expensive to put on because they were filming in Rome. Uh, just like everything they wanted to do. Like it was a great show, obviously, but it just it, they weren't like it was not worth the insane cost of Rome. Uh, I, I, and that's why they were like, OK, you don't have four seasons. You have two. And uh, that's what happened to it. That's what I thought happened to Rome. Uh, season one of Rome is still probably my favorite television show I have ever seen, though. I think if you actually go to Rome, I think the set of HBO, you can still go to the set of HBO Rome. I think if you go, if you literally go to Rome, it's still, it's still there. It's like a tourist attraction, I think. What's Rome about? It's about Rome. I can go to Rome and Rome. You shit me. I am not shitting on you. Uh, Outcast, thank you for the 10 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Son of a bitch. How the allergies been? My face and nose are starting to get fucking like insanely itchy. You get insanely itchy. This is why you're still timed out, Jump Chess. This is why you're still timed out. This is why. Uh, thank you for five dollars. Appreciate it. Generic Twitch hand spotted. Woo! The fuck? <laughs> that was a really cool level. Another really good level. Very fun. Janky ending. 
good level. Uh, got 99 problems, but a bean ain't one. Okay. What's up, Kavik? How are you? Rise of the Ronin or Dragon's Dogma 2 tomorrow? Why not both? Why not both? I'll probably get fucking confused playing them, but why not both? These level names? Yeah, right? Why not both games? Or okay, no those dose. Uh, I was able to get a, uh, save that basically was exactly where I left off, uh, from, uh, uh, from a number of people helping out, so. I was able to get my save fixed in the end. Yeah, yeah. All right, check it out. Uh, going Han Solo, thank you for the 41 months. Sir, I protest, I am not a merry man! Morning there, Bart. Well, the goodbye, mushroom. The magical fruit. <laughs> Shit. Curse level. Ah, uh, yeah, the bean meter is a uh, difficulty, yes. How long until dumb chest timeout is over? Uh, I'd say like until he learns to stop typing the same fucking thing over and over and over, I would say that his sentence is indefinite. And that as soon as he types that again, his sentence is right back. Goodbye, mushroom. Yeah, until he learns. I wonder if there's a way to. I wonder if there's a way to get this. <laughs> I don't want to ban him. I don't want to ban him. I, I feel like he. I feel like he can be rehabilitated to stop typing the same thing over and over and over. I feel like it can happen. We can make him into a. You know, there's certain people on Twitch who, like, it's, it's like they feel like they have to play a character or something. You can just exist. You don't have to be a character. I think, I believe he can be rehabilitated. This is my, yeah, it doesn't have to become your personality. Sixty-two thousand one hundred and seventy-nine more seconds. I will be rebuilt. What the fuck? Ah! Uh, thank you for the five dollars. Appreciate it. Have you tried local honey for allergies? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, I've had hay fever since I was a kid. Had it since I was a kid. I don't know if you can, can you treat? I, I honestly don't know very much about it. Dumb chest, age unknown, always wanted to be a part of something. Due to having shocking intellectual deficiencies, it was just a distant dream. Yeah! Uh, Paco Gutierrez, thank you for the It's just bits. a bullshit word. So you go on and stamp your form, Sonny, and stop wasting my time. Because to tell you the truth, I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh! You're kidding! I don't remember what I did! Ah! I gotta eat more seconds! 
No! That was a really good level. That was really good. Uh, show me potato salad. Thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Aqua Gutierrez, thank you for 600 bits. Thank you very much. That was another really good level. I, I can't I can't think of a single level I have played here that I thought was bad. They've all been really fun. Want to get antihistamines? Uh, when I was a kid, I had, uh, I had a nose spray thing, and uh, I used to have that as a kid. I think it was like, I don't know if it was Flonase or something. Uh, uh, Benadryl. I used to have Claritin when I was a kid. I used to take Claritin a lot. As an adult, I don't do anything. As an adult, I just I just suffer. <laughs> I think occasionally I have something. I, I occasionally have something, but uh, it's uh, only when it gets really bad. It hasn't gotten really bad yet. It hasn't got allergies. Haven't gotten really bad yet. But. Yeah, Benadryl just fucking when I was when I was in college once. Uh, I took Benadryl and then I drove home, which is like was like an hour drive for me in college. And oh my god, that was the that was the worst drive of my life. I, I that was one of the worst decisions I had ever made. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. I made it home, but man, it was awful. Funny. You can become dependent on nose spray. Yeah, don't don't do that. Don't take Benadryl and go drive home. Um, what if there's any way to get the key? <laughs> I don't think so. I think we did it right by accident. I sure did. <laughs> I have to get in there and bop. Oh, I gotta bop it. Okay. For a friend of yours, it makes him wired and he can't sleep. Interesting. I wonder why that is. from Space Station Silicon Valley, is it? Body, yeah, some kind of body chemistry thing. you. <laughs> uh, Joey Dangerously, thank you for the bits. What was in this hack are so sick. This hack has been very fun. Been very, very fun. I am, I am very, very pleasantly surprised by this hack. Pretty amazing what they were able to do with like the concept and the hack continues to impress. Ah oh, man, that's tough. Really hard to not take a hit there. Peace made with jump team? I mean, I've always had peace with jump team. There, listen, that I wasn't the one hurting anybody. I was the one being hurt <laughs> by, by those levels in Naughty World and some of those other ones. I was the victim there, all right? <laughs> yeah, I was the victim going through those levels, man. I mean, even in Naughty World and uh, what was the other one? Naughty World and Nonsense. Like, there was still really cool stuff in there for sure. And 
the potential is always there. I think ultimately, like, the whole, like, make a level in an hour thing, like... It can produce some interesting results, but it also produces a lot of, like, horror. Like, true horror. Damn, man. This is a whole lot of horror to actually play. Oh my god, that gay tunnel level. Ugh. I've been through I've been through the ringer on some of those levels. Oh, no. There. Alright, progress. that scrambles your controls how can i forget how can i forget what a wonderful experience what do they do to me in the gay tunnel it was like banjo kazooie music and like like the game that so many sprites it was lagging uh disappearing ghosts bullets spawning from everywhere it was insanely long Ugh. I don't know how to get through that without taking a hit. Oh yeah, the eye strain backgrounds, yeah. Damn. No, nope. uh, not every not every level is uh, not every level is a winner. Not every level is a winner. Jeez, man. Did I finish the Mario Zelda hack? Uh, I did. Yeah, I did. It was pretty fun overall. It was enjoyable. You were a fan of either Mario or Zelda 1 or both, uh, which I think most people probably are. I'd recommend. It was cute. You spin jump on those? What the piranha plants? Yeah, you can. Um, they're shooting a fireball, which makes it uh, more difficult, obviously. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, this would be a dumb meme of something really evil would say. <sighs> those are full of a bright ass background, goofy music, and depression. Yeah, gate tunnel was one of the level one of the levels of all time. Hello. For sure. Uh mosquito, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Man, I always take a hit right here. I'm not sure how to get through that without taking a hit. It's really tough. That was cool. That was cool. Neat. Really cool level. Enjoyed it. Yeah, very cool. Some bean wrap. This hack is fun to watch. I'm glad you're enjoying. Oof. By lazy. Boysenberry Pavlova. Okay. Check it out. I made so much progress watching you. Still improving with Kaizo. Shit's hard as fuck. Are you playing this? You're playing this hack, right? Okay, so there's no spinning in this level. But you can spin off of the beans. Okay, I see. Spin beans. Uh, 
Um... Uh, this act came out a little while ago. Yeah, not too long ago. Like last week. Ah. What's up, Brian Hurd? How are you? How many exits? Uh, 82. 82. Okay, so I see what has to happen there. The fuzzy has to be on the ceiling right there. I see it now. Got it. Nope. Fucked up. Uh, any Switch Palaces yet? Uh, not that I've seen, no. I haven't run any Switch Palaces. I like as always I teach you the mechanic and the start in intuitive ways. Uh, yeah, I'd agree with that. Uh, uh, this is funny, look weird. Oh, God. Oh, man. I think I'm getting old, guys. I think I am getting old. Day by day. A little older. There we go. Oh, yeah, we also have the shell. Ah, you need the shell there, okay. Parts of me hurt that never hurt before. Oh, are we done? Okay. There must be something more there. Uh, Mondo, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you, Mondo. Okay, I think I need the shell. So I have to stop my spin jump here. I didn't think the Copasta Elite aged. Wow. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> that hurt my brain. I'm typing with one hand at work. What is he doing with his other hand? Sack's good. It's not that good, man. Calm the fuck down. Relax. Ew. Good morning, Barb. What's your favorite part of being a dad so far? The cold, refreshing taste of Cerveza Cristal. <laughs> hey, Barb. I didn't think the coke has to leave me aged. Uh, Paco Gutierrez. Thank you for the 600 bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. D-Man, thank you for 32 months. Thank you, D-Man. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Fantastic timing. I age, I do, I do age. It's true. I do age. I you're watching me age. You're watching me age day by day. Now let me uh, fix this real quick. Day by day, a little older. I'm I'm achy these days. Achy. Aging as we watch. There's even a timer. <laughs> yeah, you can. Hmm. I was so young yesterday. My knee was like it's like the the getting up. P putting down, picking up, that non-stop doing that, man. My knee is fucking killing me today, dude. Ugh. Ooh. 
Hey, nice. A little lucky on that one. <laughs> a little lucky on that one. We'll take it. Dad perk brings knee pain with it. Ah, uh, I guess it must, man. Oh, God. Oh, um. Hmm. Ah. What? 360 seconds in my stream, a minute passes. So true. Ibuprofen before you do this stuff helps a lot of or near base before I do any activity get the blow phone in the keys. I don't know, it's just a key, it seems to come and go for me. It seems to come and go, I don't know why. What are the blue beans? The blue beans, uh, you you can only, so you can't spin jump in this level unless you jump off the blue beans. Only way to spin jump in this level. They're moldy. I should have gone there. Do I like beans? Sure, yeah. How do you not like beans? 6-3 uh, and my knees click non-stop when I squat anything. <laughs> Become a fucking old folks home in here before too long. My knees hurt. Beans. What? What did you say? Uh, decoy, thank you for the 44 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. My fingers hurt. Have you played the new, uh, uh, Arch Thrones mod? I have not. No. Um, seems like most people who have played it, uh, dislike it strongly. Uh, so that's part one. Part two of why I haven't played it is that it's still like an early. Like, it's not done kind of situation, right? So I figured I would wait until it was done. It's got so much hype. Uh, what's bad about it? I think that'd be a better question for the people who have played it. Just that the, the most people I've seen play it hate it. <laughs> oh. I have not played it. Urasuma! If your knees are cracking that badly, then you need to me to fix the way you walk. I'm six feet five inches and only have that happen at the end of the day. Dumb chest, thank you for five dollars. Thank you, dumb chest. Just walk differently. <laughs> yeah, just walk different. Ah, it's hard. Oh, uh, what's up, Edgar Chapa? How are you?
I missed your sub. I'm sorry, Mr. Mans. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate the 65 months. Uh, excuse me, but I also, let me remind you, I get five minutes grace period to thank subs. So that was only two minutes ago. <laughs> penalty. That's a 10 minute penalty. Repeat first down. Damn refs, man. Now let's cut to Taylor Swift. <laughs> what does Taylor Swift think about the play? Barb never acknowledges my sub. It's bullshit, man. I think, I think, I thank every fucking sub. Occasionally, I might miss one here or there. It happens, but. Well, shit. I don't know if he's hearing Barb correctly say my name. He's uh, get a streamer boyfriend so she can play this hack. P.S. was P.S. I want Barb to say my name. If Barb doesn't thank me, how will I know if he likes me? I thank all the subs, all the ones that matter. I have never thanked you. I've never seen this man before in my life. <laughs> Damn it. Good luck. Let me fall, you bitches! <laughs> what a cool ending. <laughs> that was awesome. GG. Yeah, that's a cool ending. Uh, literally only 5k and even tries to read every sub in all the bits. Most won't say anything less than for 5 gifted. Ah, man. I, I do the best I can. I feel guilty if I don't if I don't thank everybody. I try. I'm sure I miss people. It happens over time. Just don't share your sub and you can't be disappointed. Have you seen Godzilla minus one? I really want to. I really want to, but uh, it's not on any streaming service yet. So need a shot of Cerveza, Chris. I I am pretty uh I'm pretty tired and achy today. I'm pretty tired and achy for whatever reason. Hurried hurl. Okay. Now this this screams. <laughs> I don't know for sure, um, but this screams idle to me. <laughs> I don't know for sure. This screams idle to me though. Are we best friends because I give you money? Uh, we're definitely not enemies, let's put it that way. Uh, I have no idea what to do here. <laughs> no idea. So it's like aiming for me. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna pray that this level is short. 
just gonna hope that this level is short. And standing at the leftmost corner of the bean can be helpful. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> this is uh, definitely something. It's pretty much like jump from corner to corner here, I think. And you think you've seen it all. Damn. playing Corndilly. Do you think God doesn't care to go this because he's afraid of what he's cre what we're creating in his Mario levels? And needs Corndilly music. <laughs> hmm. Right there, I don't know what to do. that maybe <laughs> music makes you think of three stooges what the fuck man Jesus. Ugh. I don't know if this is my favorite level. <laughs> I don't know if this one's my favorite. God, what do you do there? What the fuck do you do there? What the hell do you do? Uh, I haven't painted anything in years, in a long time. long time uh just because game doesn't mean you should have a good summer the entire jump team yeah it's been a very long time there's a one in 100 chance of it throwing out a blue bean breaks level wide open i don't think that's true Six, then over. So, one, two, three. Oh. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, I think six, then over is pretty good. God. 
<laughs> Is there another level I can do? <laughs> Is there, is there, can I go a different direction? Uh, this is my save, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's uh, it's a recreation of my save. Let's put it that way. Basically, my save. Eat your beans. I'm trying. There's too many. See, like right there. What do I do right there? Oh man. No homage. But as of my save, uh, last night I loaded the game up to play, and uh, oh my goodness, and my save was gone. Hi, babies. Bo don't both babies. Hi. Hi. Both babies. Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. You going out with mommy? Hi, baby. You look so pretty today. A pretty girl. No more baby clown. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, man. He called me pretty. Well, back to this hellhole. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, hang on. So the hard part here is like knowing which beans you have to skip. Like you gotta skip some beans. Like right there, you gotta skip. Okay, hang on. Yeah, you gotta skip your beans. there I, I tried to go one early oh man I don't oh, dude I don't know <laughs> I got no idea I wonder if I could walk can I like walk forward on these you like kind of can Maybe I shouldn't be jumping. Maybe I should be like walking. I don't know. I have no idea. Oof. <sighs> I have one sixth grade math. She used some of your Paper Mario play to teach students about 2D and 3D shapes. Oh, that's cute. Nightmare fuel. What the fuck do I do there? What do I do, man? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. I could show Barb in class, I'd be living. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure I was probably muted, I would guess. You see the teaser trailer for the new Alien movie? I didn't, but I have heard some positive things about it. I have heard some positive things. Hard to tell with the trailer. Didn't show much. It looks terrible. Yeah, right there. I'm. I'm not sure. I'm. I'm trying to do different things. Like I'm not trying to do the same thing over and over. Uh, it's just really tough. Really tough.
I'm trying to do something different. Try to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Oh my god. Uh, Retcons, Covenant, and Prometheus. Uh, is it gonna be like a continuation of that story? Honestly, you know what I think they should do with the fucking Prometheus Alien Covenant story? Just throw it in the fucking garbage. Ignore it. Completely ignore it. Oh my god, I did it right! Somehow! Yeah, I think they should just, I think just fucking jettison the alien, the Prometheus and Alien Covenant story. I don't think you need it. What you need an alien, what you need an alien is not an overarching plot and like mythology. What you need an alien is dark lighting, believable cast and crew, like good characterization, like good characters, good actors, dark lighting, a scary monster, and you're good. That's all you need. That's all you fucking need. You don't need to worry about the lore implications. You don't have to worry about the, the larger backstory of Alien. You need to make a monster movie. And make sure you capture the vibe in the original, like the original feel. You do that and you're good. Don't worry about all that other bullshit. All the other bullshit is Ridley Scott sniffing his own farts. That's all it is. Don't worry about it. No, yeah, yeah. Also never show the alien. They want to milk it. Literally Ridley Scott sniffing his own farts. What I lose? I lost my save in this game. I lost my save in this hack. I had 28 exits and then I uh, I turned my hack, I heard, turned it on to play last night and I had zero exits. It completely reset my progress. Uh, I had some help and got things fixed. Now we're back. Movie exe movie exists. What if Alien is right? I think this is Ridley Scott, not not like movie executives. I think it's him, cause like, his plans are like, like, his, like, overarching, like, plot of the, the Alien movies is really insane, man. Like, the implication is, like, the quote-unquote engineers sent back a representative who may or may not have been Jesus Christ, and, uh, now because humans killed Jesus Christ, now the engineers are going to like unleash this bio weapon on humanity like this this is this is like the, basically the quasi story of alien of prometheus this is like what prometheus was about like the subtext of prometheus right and if you like this is fucking insanely stupid like i miss alien like what'd you do to it <laughs> That was basically like the plot within the plot of of Prometheus, right? Damn it. it sounds like a bad adaptation of Dead Space. Uh, Andy, thank you for 63 months. Thank you, Andy. on toast. Yeah, it's like cut content. It's like, uh... There's all kinds of stuff that was cut from Prometheus. Uh, like in the original Prometheus, I think it was actually Trant, like... Uh, I don't even remember when they spend all this time to wake up the engineer, and then when they wake up the engineer, he's just like a WWE wrestler, and he starts killing everybody. Uh, originally there was supposed to be dialogue right there, and he was supposed to actually talk to, uh, uh Wayland, uh, or whatever his name is. Even the light cycle of the bioweb is stupid. Yeah, I think it's on YouTube, right? 
Uh, Combed Mage, thank you for 62 months. Thank you, Combed Mage. Did I like Alien 3? I I despise that movie. I despise it. It might be it's the mo one of the most miserable movies I think I've ever seen. I hate that movie. I can't believe people defend that movie. Like it's an interesting concept, but it's fucking awful. It's awful. Awful. It's it, I can't believe they went from aliens to Alien 3. I can't believe it. Well, talk about, like, the ultimate fumble. Alien 3 is the one that takes place in the prison. It's truly awful. Truly awful. Hate that movie. You like that movie? I, I can't stand that movie. the basketball scene is actually in the next movie, which is uh, Alien 4. I don't know. What's the name of Alien 4? I can't even remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like it all you want. I think it's fucking dog shit. I, I, I can't believe going from Aliens to Alien 3 is like driving off a fucking mountaintop. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's a steep fucking fall, man. Uh, I'm of the belief that even good directors, uh, good directors can be put in the wrong, like, like, position, basically. Like, would you cast... I think of, like, a good, a good example here. Would you cast Timothy Chalamet as a fucking, like... Would you cast Timothy Chalamet as Hulk Hogan? Like, what? He's, you're gonna play Hulk Hogan in the Hulk Hogan biopic? Probably not, right? Like, doesn't really, it doesn't really fit. You know, I don't really think so. He looks like he weighs about 110 pounds. I don't think so, right? Would you cast? Uh, would you get a certain director to like? Would you get John Carpenter to direct Titanic? Like, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> you know, like there's good directors that. You know, that like it's just like actors where they have strengths and weaknesses, you know? There are certain directors that I feel like it seems like they could do it all, you know? Oh my god, there's more. Uh oh, oh, okay. <laughs> sure, why not? Tom Cruise be my choice. These are good ideas. Michael Bay Titanic. My prediction is idle. Let's see if it's idle. Wasn't that bad. The second part of that level was uh, very weird to figure out. Ah, uh, not idle. It definitely had the idle vibe to me, though. <laughs> Chuck Mungnet. Oh, God. Don't care Titanic would probably be pretty sick. He probably would be. How about he directs Titanic, too? Would you guess Kevin Hart is rolling in a Borderlands movie? Mungnet. It's from Jump. I don't know what horrors await us in here. Uh, let me, uh, I'm going to get up, use the bathroom real quick, and we'll see what awaits us in Chuck Mungnet. Uh, BRB, guys, one sec. BRB.
Yeah. Copy, paste, copy, paste, paste. The saying is saying is saying is saying copy, paste, copy, paste, paste. The saying is saying is saying is saying copy, paste, copy, paste, paste. The saying is saying is saying is saying. All right, I am back. Sorry for waiting. Uh, think he abandoned us. Uh, I'm back. Swing, guys. That's one big poo poo. Uh, Yan, thank you for eighty for twenty one months. Really appreciate that. Is Scoot, thank you for the five hundred bits. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doctor Shy Guy, for thirty four months. Appreciate that, guys. Uh, all right, Chuck Mungnets. Who knows? Let's see what we got. Oh God. <laughs> Chuck Magnet, you're alive? Wait, why is there a bean on your head? Oh, it's the same song from Jump, from the original Jump. I think it may be. Uh, Gobs, thank you for the 33 months. Thank you, Gobs. Ooh, this is like uh this is like a cooler version. Uh well okay, so where am I doing what am I doing? Okay, so if I do this <laughs> Okay. No, no. Some things don't change, do they, Chuck? Um, I think I have to go up. Damn it. chat uh thank you very much andras for the four months thank you andras <laughs> uh okay so he's waiting here for me uh oh did i mess something up i think i must have uh, oh, unless, uh... I can't really do the, uh, screen wrapping here, right? I must have... Oh. I must have messed something up. I'm, I'm not sure which one I did. Yeah, maybe I had to hit the switch again. Uh, let's see, can I die? Okay, yeah, I can die. Yeah, we missed something up there. That's okay. Mm, that's tough. I'm hungry today. Hungry, hungry. Mm. 
Oh, shit. Uh, I had a Taco Bell breakfast uh, crunch wrap. How's Taco Bell breakfast? What is that? Ah. It's amazing. It's great. I think I smelled it once when I was a teacher and it made me sick. But so that was a long time ago. As you'd expect. Okay, so he's going. So we're going back through here. Okay, progress, progress. Always say did breakfast all day at Taco Bell. Steak breakfast crunch wrap is uh is great. It's, you guys are you guys are making it sound good. You guys make me hungry. Chuck, stop it. Bad Chuck. Um I was wondering if he was coming with me here. It looks like we're going this way. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, so I obviously missed something. <laughs> uh, what was I supposed to do there? I didn't see it. Uh, go grab a snack. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Katie wants food or not. I'll probably just wait. Still, uh, it's still really early. It's still really early. Uh, Scythe. Thank you for the 36 months. Appreciate it, man. Probably just need, you know, I need is coffee. Much That's love to you and your lovely need a cup of coffee. Bar. Wrong way. Keep doing that. Scythe, thank you for the 36 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Ah. Oh, level. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, Titanium Togekiss, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, chat. Which game are you playing this weekend? Are you playing Dragon's Dogma? Are you playing uh, Rise of the Ronin? Are you playing Princess Peach? Or are you still... What was that? What that person call the Bellatro people? Bellatro morons or something? <laughs> Which one is it? Last spell, last epoch. I can't remember what it was. What did he call, what did he call the Bellatro? I don't remember what it was. It was so funny, though. I really chose the hardest possible way there. Mal it was Bellatro Mouth Breathers, I think. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's funny to me. Just try Slice and Dice. What is Slice and Dice? An Elden Ring run sounds good to you. Oh yeah, how is uh, Pacific Drive? Slice and Dice is so good. What is what? Is, this is the first I've ever heard of it. What is Slice and Dice? But have I messed up? I don't think I've messed up yet. Oh, uh, so I need him here, and now I have to screen wrap. Okay, I see. I got you. It's a dice-based roguelite. Seven-year patch by a single guy released on Steam. I've never heard of it. Right up my alley, it's super challenging dice-based roguelite. Uh, laser played uh, Slice and Dice, oh yeah. I hate mobile games and I love Slice and Dice. It gets really hard, huh, interesting. Uh, Cerebus, thank you for the 54 months. Thank you very much. Oh, dude, I, I read something the other day and I was like, this is the best idea I've ever read. 
And I don't know why it's a thing. Or why it's not a thing. Or why isn't it more of a thing? Did you guys hear they're they're uh, they're doing Lego Dungeons and Dragons, right? Have you guys heard about that? They're doing like Lego sets that are that are featuring Dungeons and Dragons. Like, okay, cool. Like, you know, well, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh it's like, you know, it's like a generic Jeez. castle set with like a, like, you know, a dragon or whatever, right? It's a generic castle set, right? But I, I was reading this thing and they're talking about it and they're like, why don't... So a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, obviously, a lot of the, a lot of Dungeons and Dragons feature like you... you I, I've never I've never played real Dungeons and Dragons, but I'm assuming there's lots of dungeons, right? Where you enter a room, there's monsters in a room, uh, you know, there you, you there's traps and different secrets and there's things you have to do, right? Why is there not a Lego set or like a Lego thing where you build the like, you know, because it's often done on tabletop, right? You're playing with dice and stuff. Why is there not like a Lego version of it where instead of like doing it on pen and paper, you can literally do it on Legos like that would be so cool. Like that would be way that would be way, way cooler with a Lego set, right? Like you can make and have somebody build it. Now, obviously, it'd be very time consuming to build the Lego set yourself. But that to me, that seems like the coolest idea ever. Like, customize your own minifig and, like, you know, all, all that. That sounds so awesome to me. Be cool. It would be time consuming to have to build a dungeon. Well, it wasn't my idea. It was somebody else, somebody else's idea. It's like, that would be, like, the coolest fucking thing ever. A ton more to gameplay too. I've been doing that for years. Your dungeon. You, have you been making so like if you're if you're the uh, like the, the the dungeon master, right? You're uh, you're literally making the Lego sets for people. Man, you're you're a good fucking friend to have, dude. There are sites that sell pieces. What a good friend. Yeah, I'll just I'll spend all my time making this for you guys. Imagine building like a trap, right? Like, like I want to walk a few paces forward and you like build a little Lego trap and it's like, oh, you fell into a pit. <laughs> How cool would that shit be? That'd be awesome. Uh, you got fucked. Okay. Chalk, give me a boost. Boost me! Okay, okay. Cool. You spend hours on something your players never discover? That's probably true. <laughs> the only, I guess the only problem is that, like, if you, if you spend so much time making a dungeon, then you, like, just dismantle it and get rid of it. Like, how much time would you really put into this thing, I guess, would be the real question. But that'd be so cool, though. That'd be so cool. I guess you do that anyway, right? That is how Dungeons and Dragons works too much, yeah. That's what always pissed me off. People are like, hey, Barb, you should be the DM and you should make stuff for Pooh. And I'm like, fuck you, man. I'm not, I'm not volunteering to do this job. Fuck off, I'm not doing this shit. Hey, you should totally do this like full-time job. All right, what is going on here? I think I, I'm, I feel like I need these. Am I supposed to... Yes, that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I got you. Building segments. I would be a horrible DM. How, as a DM, how hostile can you be to the player? Like, how evil can you be? <laughs> At some point, they, you know, you have to be such a fucking asshole that they never ask you to do it again. <laughs> That's what you got to do. Oh, you want me to DM for you? Okay, sure, yeah. I got a surprise for you. In essence, you're God. Has Mario Maker 1 been beaten yet? I don't think so. I think if it's been beaten, I would have heard about it all day. Chuck? There we go. 
I am very dead. Uh, I guess let's try to figure this one out first. Um, so I'm pretty sure in this level I need to grab all the dragon coins is what I'm doing. Okay. Yo, Chuck. How many games have I? This is, I, I like that Ch uh, Chuck is the unofficial mascot of the jump team. Okay. Thanks, Chuck. Okay, two. Uh, now, what do I do here? So I need to, I need Chuck to go up here so that I can jump on this and hit that. That's what I need. So I need you to go here. Um, but it looks like I need to hit another switch so that, uh, so I'm, I'm missing a bunch of steps on this one. Hmm. But they made a squish chuck for this level. Oh, this chuck has been around since, uh, since the original jump, actually. This chuck has been around for a long time. Uh, is that good, actually? Did I want that? I don't know. Grab all five dragon coins, then die and return here to win. Oh, okay. So that's, that's, I, I kind of figured I was grabbing that, but that's what you have to do. Okay. Fair enough. That is what I want to do. Interesting. Okay. So now, now what? Why did I do that? Was something, what changed? Um, he's still stuck until I grab the throw block. Now I need to get, get my ass to Mars here. Maybe, maybe now, okay, maybe now I just release him is what I do. Let's jump Chuck himself. I wonder if they've like uh, modified or changed him in any way. Okay, so I think we just want him to go up here. Okay, hang on, hang on, I see. Can you stay right here. It's now, now uh, we bring him around. Huh. I'm not sure. I'm not to betray him at the end. Uh, he's probably gonna give they're probably gonna give us a choice again of letting him live or die, right? Probably. Okay, I'm not sure what to do now. Okay, he just got stuck. Oh, that's what you do. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course that's what it is. Obviously. Okay, we didn't smoke a locket. I, I want to hit the switch one more time to free the truck. Uh, so this one is uh, obviously a screen wrap situation. You know what? All we have to do is to get... The, all right, so there's one more dragon. We just got to get the last one. We know where the last one is, too. It's over here. Okay, so now it says just die, right? Just die. There we go. Leaving Chuck behind. Oh, we don't get to kill Chuck this time. Oh. I thought there should have been a door and then you lead to you killing Chuck again. Maybe we'll maybe we'll see Chuck again though. Uh, very cool level. Another very cool level. 
bean and breakfast. I, I'm, I would save to see how many exits we're at right now, but I'm scared. <laughs> I'd save and go back to the title screen, but I'm scared to do it. Now I'm scared. Uh, don't do it. Yeah, I don't know if I should. Uh, thank you very much. I really and hero for 37 months. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. You know, let's risk it. Let's risk it. I can always play Neo. Let's risk it. Don't be scared. I'm right here. I think we'll be okay. All right. We're at 37 exits. 37. What is the sub alert with the guy screaming on a pillow top from? Uh, oh, where he's screaming, who am I? Uh, EF5 Tornado. That's from a movie called Who Am I? All right. Bean and breakfast. Let's do it. Enjoy your bean dolphin meal with soy sauce below in the stream. Uh, it is best to bounce during upward momentum. So we have replaced. Dolphins have now become beans. Interesting. All right, so we have a key. This is cool. No. Thank you for the 59 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. So Barbie. Thank you very much. We'll all appreciate it. Uh, not much. Playing beans, you know? Music's a banger. Uh, okay. We gotta be a little more careful there. To bean or not to bean? some ribs and apricot jam covered around sourdough. I don't know how good that sounds to me, actually. <laughs> I don't know how good that sounds to me. Uh, that was interesting. You guys see me go right through that one way? <laughs> uh, it doesn't help me, though. <laughs> Does not help. Are there any levels where you can spawn a bean like a power up? Uh, we've kind of had something similar ish, kind of like that, but not exactly. and pineapple is good. Uh, so which way is the front and the back of the bean? I think it's the back here, right? Nope, wrong way.
Uh, I don't think I wanted to do that. Did I miss something? Oh, there's another key. Um. This is water? This has been water the whole time? <laughs> Has that been water the entire time? I thought that shit was lava or something. I see that the red one. Okay, I just, I don't know. I guess I just thought it was all, I thought it was all death. Oh, now I died. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, I guess from here, I just thought it would kill me, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's my fault. My wrong assumption. Notice the bottom left was red. It looked, it looked on ominous. Yeah, exactly. It looked ominous. Oh, oh, that's water. Right. That's water. We're okay. Uh, let me go to the bottom first here maybe I can get both in one go well I took damage but kind of faster right okay one and two Cool. Uh, do not go above the black, uh, the, the, do not go above the screen. The black fumes are fatal. To clear this gas, raise the hot sauce below you. What? What the hell does that mean? Do we miss a key somewhere? Hmm. What the fuck is this? The hell is this guy? Lots of keys. Sip, gap, sip, gap, sip, 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 get, get, get. Hmm. Bean blasters. Uh, Cow Tippa, thank you for 44 months. Thank you, Cow Tippa. I'm a little unclear as to what I'm supposed to do there. Let me reread the message box again. Uh, do not go above the screen. The black fumes are fatal. To clear the gas, raise the hot sauce below you. Huh. Okay. Uh... What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 chill. Oh. Was there a key to the right here? Man. Yeah. That's we hot back sauce. In there. And the keys open blocks with keyholes, so I can't do anything here. I guess I can grab this one. I can't grab the other one. I need a P-switch for that one. Uh, Cloudy is Fox. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you, Cloudy. Oh, I 
almost killed myself there. Okay, so this is going to raise these, or lower these, rather. I don't know how many keys I need. Uh, watch out for this. Let's go under the bean. Hmm, let me, uh, can I check to the right here? I can. Oh, no, there we go. Hang on. That's a ceiling shit. Only channel on Twitch I really watch, not gonna lie. Well, thank you, Cloudy. I'm glad you hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you very much. Almost feels like a Zelda dungeon. This level is pretty cool. A neat level. There really hasn't been a level in this hack that I thought was like, yeah, this level sucked. I think maybe there was one or two levels that were like maybe not my favorite, but otherwise there's been there's been a lot of really cool levels. Oh, thank you guys. I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoy watching my channel. Good news is I'm not planning on going anywhere for a long time, so I'll be around. How big is this hack? Uh, let's see. Uh, it's at 82 exits. 82. It's a, it's a big hack. So is that putting it back in the uh, default? That's back in the default position, right? So now we're back at default water level here or like lava level. This is really cool. Man, I suck. This is really cool. How did you get, I got my save back uh, through the help of Third Wall and uh, Jump Team themselves helped out and uh, Bazangles were all involved in helping, so. Uh, thank I you for everyone scrubs, who helped. But I can't watch that damn T-Mobile commercial anymore. Yeah, IT team. They say what happened. I what they said is that it has something to do with the Super NT. Something to do with the Super NT. I was uh I was fully confident I could get my save back or like get somebody else's save and just use that. Like I was I was fully confident I was gonna be able to get it back. So I I wasn't I wasn't worried at all. Um, and like, as I've said, there's nobody in the entire world more sympathetic to Mario World ROM hack tech issues. Uh, there's nobody in the world One more sympathetic than me. Uh, Fairy Wife, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. I am extremely sympathetic. Oof, I almost didn't make that. Right, so we have four keys. You're finding the book club enjoyable? I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Um, especially after last time. Uh, people were... Oh, no! It wasn't like people like... I don't think people hated the last book, but there was a lot of... Uh... So how many keys do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight keys. Uh, there was a lot of strong opinions in the last book. Some people hated it. Some people like enjoyed parts of it, but... Last book was, uh, yeah. I think what we discover with the last book is that Chuck Polinick, he's a kind of an acquired taste. I don't think he's for everybody. It's been so far to start the book. Like playing a Zelda fire time. This level is, this level is very cool. I agree. Very cool level. I like some of it and other parts I hated. Yeah. I, I agree with that on the last book. It's like Shadow the Hedgehog, very edgy. We're reading another Polonic book. Well, I mean, it's kind of good as like if you're if you're an author and you kind of have like your own distinct style, isn't that like something authors really like crave to have? 
I really want that. He wrote it after his dad was killed by a series of one of his more aggressive titles. You're skipping this book? Uh, you know, uh, there's no... You, if you want to be in book club, there's no requirement you have to read every book. If you're not interested, that's fine. Damn it, dude. It's entirely up to you. You think reading him as an, uh, a misunderstood edgy teen is a uh, misunderstanding of his work? I can see that. I think maybe it, it comes across that way, but... But I, I can see that. Uh, what's up, Lucas? How are you? Don't you fucking bean me, bitch. Can we talk about book club? Uh, I mean, we're not going to be talking about the current book for a while. At least a couple weeks. I haven't even got my copy yet. So I, I don't really want to know anything about it yet. Uh, so <laughs> we usually... We usually go like at least two or three weeks to get the book done because everybody's kind of reading at their own pace, so. Damn it, dude. Oh, it was like a, oh, a fight club joke. Okay, got you. The book is, uh, The Word is Murder by Horowitz is the book. Read a page and then pass out. <laughs> I, I think, I think we've all been there before. That's how some books are, man. Uh, with more than just a few days to spare this time, I'm excited. Whoa, 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 that's really weird. <laughs> when you uh, hit the switch and you start jumping, it's very odd. I tried to get into Tolkien in high school. After um, after I saw Fellowship of the Ring, I ran out, bought all the books and read them all. And I've, oh my God, I love them. That man writes too much. Uh, Lord, uh, to Lord, uh, Tolkien, uh, does he? I don't think he does, right? He didn't write that much. Never tried the Silmarillion? Oh, it's a little dry. It's like, kind of, some parts are interesting. And not anymore, he doesn't. Uh, Split Next, thank you for the 51 months. Thank you, Split Next. a reference book i mean it's got some interesting stuff to it it, it isn't all bad let's just wait tons of overlong description of pastoral scenes and fucking songs my god the songs i'm gonna respectfully disagree and think that whatever whatever small things about lord of the rings are uh are maybe like a little bit harder to read because you're into the story i feel like they give the world uh grit and like they flesh out the world and make it a more like tactile thing as opposed to just being like accept my fantasy world and you know what whatever tolkien style is i feel like i prefer tolkien style over the whole one of the one of the biggest things you see in tons of in tons of science fiction and fantasy is like i'm gonna throw you into my novel page one i'm gonna throw so many places crazy ass fucking names like random shit like i made up and like it never it, t it never tells you what those things are and that shit drives me crazy like where you have to have a glossary open just to understand what the fuck you're reading i hate that shit i understand you want to throw me in and get me in. i i get that i understand but the way the way a lot of what the fuck man god damn the way some fantasy and science fiction authors do it i fucking hate that man i hate that yeah, Dune does that. Yeah, Dune definitely does that show. 
Uh, maybe I can wait on that one. Let's just try to wait on that one. We must test if you are. I am a Bene Gesserit. We must test if you are the Quisas Hatterich. So I'm going to give you the Gom Jabbar before you head to Arrakis. What? <laughs> also, this is Thufir Hawat. He is a Mentat. I beg your pardon. Dune is certainly written in a style. I am just kind of against the, like... I'd like to, like, have... I, I guess I'd like to care a little bit about what's happening before you make me accept things and maybe, like, explain things to me. You know, like, explain them to me and not... Exp like, explaining them as opposed to expecting me to read them on my own. You know? See, Tolkien does that. In the in the uh, in in the shadow of the past, Gandalf lays it all out, explains everything that's going on to Frodo in a really easy way, and then later on the Council of Elrond, you are fully up to speed, like you know what's going on. He's not bringing Dune because the first couple chapters you should give another chance. Dune is is really cool. Dune's really cool. Either we should we need to kill these fuckers as soon as we can. These guys are noxious. Let me get rid of these guys. Dune is still a good book. I like Dune, but um, I just, I have a pet peeve of that in a lot of fantasy and science fiction. Only read the odd number Dune. Is Dune, you know, I read Dune 2 once. I don't remember much about it at all. Is it Dune Messiah? Is that Dune 2? I don't remember much about it at all. Uh, is Dune 3? I never tried to read Dune 3. Is that one any good? Is this the fire temple? It kind of feels that way, right? I was able to get a save file. Yes, thank you to uh, Third Wall, Daizo, Bazangles, Jump Team in general. I was able to get it. I am very happy because this hack has been really awesome. Let me wait here real fast. I never read Narnia, no. I don't know why I'm not normal jumping there. I'm, I'm, I gotta get that. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. The last, so on Naughty World, they said that Naughty World was their penultimate hack, which would mean that this would be their final hack. Uh, I'm just saying bullshit. I'm just calling bullshit. I don't believe it. I'm not buying it. Maybe they'll take a break. Maybe they'll change something. Maybe somebody new will step in, but I'm calling bullshit. Like saying it's my last act. Yeah, you're, you're welcome to call me bullshit. That's fine. I'm calling bullshit. Grand Pearl 3 is not my last hack either. I, well, you know, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see who's right in the end. Grand Pearl 4 just announced. I don't feel, I don't feel any differently. I still feel very strongly that I do not want to, like, ever do it again. I don't feel any differently from that. That's also true, Dan. It's also true. Oh god, I probably wanted to bring that with me. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, bring why did I don't know why I did that. Bring it with me. I'm an asshole. Uh still an animal, thank you for nine months. Thank you very much. Notice me, Senpai. Uh thank you, still an animal. Appreciate it. Huge insane commitment on top of your already crazy hours. There's a number of factors why I don't want to. Oh. I think chat underestimates my spite. I don't really feel like there's anything left for me to do. I think I think I'm I'm moving on. 
as of right now, I don't know what fucking time, like, between stream, like, my, my schedule these days is stream, 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 all day, and then when I'm done streaming, I'm with babies, and then when I'm not with babies, I'm back streaming, or I'm sleeping. Sometimes I find time to eat, <laughs> like, sometimes we find time to eat, but, like, I don't have time to watch, like, and I can't, I can't watch an hour of television, let alone spend, like, a thousand hours we're working on a ROM hack, so... Um, I don't, I, I have no time these days to do anything like that of the sort, so. No time for the dune bucket, nope. Yeah, haven't had time to do anything, honestly. <laughs> Shit, man. Uh, something we said about ending something on top, uh, what, uh, like what benefit would another hack bring? I guess the benefit another hack would be is that, uh, you know, it, the community gets together, it, it seems, and, you know, people seem to enjoy it, and they have a good time, and I guess that would be the benefit, you know? Might have more time in, like, 20 years. Yeah, uh, I reg either way, regardless of whatever the future is, it's not going to be, if, if, if it did happen ever, which I'm not sure it will, uh, I'm pretty sure it won't, it wouldn't be for a long time, so. There's plenty of talented people out there, and I, I don't necessarily think I need to, I need to do anything else at this point, so. That's all the hope you need. I really thought I killed that guy. <laughs> Where the fuck did that guy come from? You gotta kill these guys. If you don't kill these guys. You are the only one with talent. Definitely not the case. You're more interested in collabs. There you go. The collabs are a nice way to get get levels out there without having to commit like, you know, 700 hours or whatever. Probably smart. Uh, Barbarous Game Studio. I need a job as the idea guy for a game studio. Oh my god, why, dude, I don't know why I am sucking so bad at this. JKW21. Barb DLC. Uh, I already made Grand Portal 2. Already out there, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, I think that's okay, actually, though. <laughs> I think that's, that's what we're going to do with them anyway, right? Alright, let's try to stop sucking here, please. Uh, re-release the Jump Team Christmas hack as Grand Pool 4. Uh, you know, I always forget what such amazing ideas my Twitch chat comes up with for ideas for ROM hacks. Always forget how genius you guys are. Oops. If I consider it a smaller project, no, I'm not considering working. I'm, I'm done right now. I'm done for the foreseeable future. I don't want to work on anything, and I mean not to. Thanks, Bilbo. You're welcome. Damn it, I've done that before. God damn it, why is it so hard? Uh, MG Scala, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it, man. Barb, I'm done. Chat, people, chat. 
<laughs> uh, don't you hate the bean sprite in a general sense? N no. The green bean as a sprite can be very frustrating to jump off, especially if you make it like a very particular jump and you want the player to go really fast with it. There's nothing inherently wrong with the green bean as a sprite. It's fine. It's the way it's used is the problem sometimes. Since even if I did hate it, that wouldn't change the fact that the hack is really, really good, so. I, the Lava Lotus, I do hate, yes. Okay, I really gotta stop dying on this. There we go. Okay, we have the P-Switch. So, we know there is, uh, to the right, there's a coin, so we need to have the P-Switch active there, but we also need this. So here's my plan. I'm going to do this, grab these, and now go to the right. Oh, fucking green. Come on, man. <laughs> Jeez, give me a break. Uh, no timer? Uh, oh, you mean like there's no P timer? I think there's a P timer. I think it's just, uh, it's just silent. I think it's just silent. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe a cup of coffee before you go? Oh, thanks, babe. Have a good time. You know what I'm do for dinner? Sounds good. I'm down. Uh, Tom Mozgov, thank you for 26 months. Thank you very much. So going out with two kids. Oh, I should have waited. Going out with uh, two kids is it's less of going out. It's more of like a military campaign at some point. <laughs> she's uh, she's planning. a. We're going to start calling it going out. We're going to call it campaigns from now on. She Katie is launching a campaign to go to Trader Joe's. Accuracy 100. Yeah, the campaign is about to be underway. Get the elephants over the Alps. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The Siege of Trader Joe's. What's Trader Joe's? It's, a, it's a, a grocery store here in the United States that uh, they've got a lot of uh, kind of unique stuff. They have uh, amazing Kung Pao chicken. I love their Kung Pao chicken. Bro, it ain't hipster shit. Their Kung Pao chicken is fucking so good. Hipster fucking nothing, bitch. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty cheap, too. Like, it's not, like, it's not, like, expensive. Oh, come on! How many ways can I die in this level? It's not even, like, that expensive of a place, either. I have died in every feasible way at this point. Carthago Delenda Est. To me, I, I'm, I, I'm just, is the food good? And some of Trader Joe's food is really good. We just got a pack of their like ravioli that's really good too. Ravioli is one of those things, man. It's like too fucking much if you want to make it yourself. But you get a, a package of it. They're right. Yeah, the ravioli's good, man. Yeah, that shit's good. Mm-hmm. 
They have a ghost pepper salsa. Uh, you have my interest. It does sound good. I actually have, um, I have it left over from the Super Bowl. It's a completely unopened package of like super spicy salsa and uh, some chips. I might, I might fucking decimate those later. I'm not sure. Stop dying in every imaginable way, please. Same plan. Get the coins, now go right. We got all the keys we needed? That was really cool. That was really cool. I th think I choked in every possible way there, but that was a really cool level. Stop dying, you cowards. Yeah, that was really awesome. I have POV before chaos struck the world. Okay, so we've now gone in a full circle. Like, so where there's gotta be more exits I've missed. I, I must have missed some exits. I think Trader Joe's had some recalls recently. I haven't heard anything about that. I'll, I'll mention it to Katie. I'll never remember. Uh, okay, so we're looking for exits we have not done. What's on my shirt? Uh, this shirt is... Uh, it's uh, the thing. The, the thing shirt. You gotta be fucking kidding. <laughs> the thing shirt. It was... Uh, one of those rare, I think it was from uh, the Yeti or something. It was like a, whoops, it was like a daily shirt. And I was like, I have to have this shirt. I have to have this one. Yeah, I had to have that shirt. Um, I'm looking for a level I have not done yet. They always have recalls going on. Where have I not been? I don't think I can do this yet. Oh, maybe I can? <laughs> maybe I can do part of this? Okay, that's probably what they do. Taiyaki Festival. Okay. Bing. This music is so familiar. Do you recognize one? I love the OG movie and the remake too. Can I just go grocery shopping without men creeping? Men creeping? Who made the ghost house level? Oh, the level we were just at? Oh, I didn't see who made that. I didn't check it. Hang on, let's go check a look. It's gonna be fish based. Let's see, where was it? Um. No, you can't. Yeah, where was the previous level? Did you go back to the level with the exit that required you to have a mushroom at the end and bust the blocks? Uh, yes, I think. I think I did. Uh, where was that last level? Is this it? This was it. That was by Daiso. Okay, th this level was really good. That was that one. Would you stream Doom 2 Wads? Uh, I don't play a lot of, uh, I don't play a lot of Doom stuff overall. I'd probably be more inclined to do like the, the original game again, probably. So. Barb, give me more Grand Pool 3 clips. K, okay, thanks. Best I can do is time your fucking ass out. That's the best I can do. All right. <laughs> have, I have not started the next part at all. Best I can do is time you out. Hayaki Festival. Okay, so I can't jump in this water. So I'm clearly doing something wrong. So the fish I can bounce off of. Okay. Oh God. Uh, Faith, thank you for five gift subs. 
Thank you, Fate. Appreciate that. Oh, God. Okay, this this feels like some morsel shit. <laughs> I don't know if this is more, so it kind of feels like some martial shit, though. Okay, so right there, that's where I have to go left into them right there. Okay, I see. I can't believe Sony is pushing a PS5 Pro. This game has zero games now. Like, who's going to buy that? Let's say Morsel has a very, uh, a very uh, distinctive style, let's say. Was like expecting to swim there or something i just bought a ps5 there are crap ton of games i think what's meant g dubs is that the playstation 5 has like basically very few exclusives anymore um and that you can get all these games on either ps4 or pc i believe that's what's meant So mad I can't I can't play Ghost of Shima on PC. Well cheer up. I think Ghost of Shima is coming to PC in like May or something. Oh my god. This is some cursed ass shit, man. Uh, just made your day, yeah. Okay, so... Oh, so I'm dead because I, uh... <laughs> I'm dead because I lost the mushroom. Did you play the Horizon Forbidden West DLC? No, actually, I did not. I did not. Um, I can't remember when the DLC came out for Horizon Forbidden West. I don't remember when it came out. Um, it was, like, at least a year or, like, two years after the game. And, um... I didn't want to replay the entire game again, and I felt like it had been so long that I felt like I had to uh, before I could play it, so I decided against playing the DLC. Yeah. You enjoyed the Burning Shores DLC? Uh, no, Forbidden West came out... Oh, wait, did the DLC come out to Tears Kingdom Time? I don't know. I do know that Forbidden West came out like a week or two before Elden Ring. Like a week before Elden Ring. He had a dream. I'm retiring. Of all the streamers least likely to retire, I feel like I'm probably up there. <laughs> It'd be quite a change to go from I never take a day off to I'm retiring. That'd be a big change. Damn, dude. Oh, uh, Barbie can stream till he's old. I mean, you know, it's kind of my job. I got kids to feed. I have the Ben Shapiro work ethic. Okay, so when I get here, I have to like, I have to do like this to wait until it's up there is what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do right there. Work every day so you can retire early. 
think the, uh, the entire idea is to work every day. Well, all that whole work ethic thing, when people talk about like have a better work ethic and work harder, that's all great and all like, yeah, sure, work hard, but uh, so people are being paid like not living wages and like the minimum wage has been stagnant and people are living on like, you know, nothing for a long time. So to me, it just seems like work until you die and be happy with what you got. So like to some people, it kind of rubs them the wrong way, especially when if I work harder, I don't see it. If you don't see like a share of profits at a company, right? Like I worked harder to make you more money, but I didn't get any of that. So why would I, right? That, I don't know that's like, is that that's on the nose or like I hit it or something? I don't know. Uh, Chazzy Bird, thank you for the 32 months. Thank you, Chazzy Bird. Talk to him, Bar. Aha! Company loyalty is boomer mentality. Both are important. That's starting to sound like communism. Oh, I mean, I'm I'm only I'm only speaking here, you know. I don't know, man. But don't don't listen to me. I remember when I worked at the bookstore, towards the end when Borders, I used to work at Borders like a really long time ago. Borders Books, and they were trying to get us to push certain books and sell these books. And if you push these books, it's going to be really good for you, right? And no matter how many copies I sold of this book that told us to sell, I was doing my job. I was selling these books. They just say, "Good job, sell more." Like. There's no monetary incentive. You just yell at me to sell the book. I sell a lot and they're just like, great, good job, sell more. Like, there's no like reason. So like, why am I going out of my fucking way to do this shit? I'm pushing this book like awkwardly onto people trying to sell copies of this. Like, it doesn't make any fuck. It makes no fucking sense. Like, why am I bothering it? It's like so awkward, right? Um. Oh, I see. Okay, this is a really cool level. This is a really cool level. But you boss get a bonus, but obviously. Neat. I mean, capitalism is not a fair system. I'm just saying, like, when people... That's why... I, all I'm trying to do is explain when people say, like, Oh, simply work harder. And that for a lot of people, that's not a reality like actually like gaining or doing anything and it comes across as very uh tone deaf and in you know it comes across as privileged and tone deaf and that not like working harder is not uh is not actually a path most of the time pretentious it's like it's like kind of the equivalent of like well, maybe you'd have more if you stopped having Starbucks every day, like that kind of thing. Ah! <laughs> if you just, maybe you could afford a house if you just didn't buy an avocado every once in a while, you fucking, you. <laughs> but my, yeah, uh, my avocado toast. Yeah, exactly. How dare you have a $1 avocado. Work harder is the equivalent of get good. I agree with you wholeheartedly on all of this. I have never heard that ever in my channel. <laughs> Everything good? Thank you, baby. Good luck on the campaign. No rules hard and fast when it comes to work. Every situation is different. These are pretty cold takes. Yeah, I don't think these are necessarily hot takes. Damn it. Are they had to get better job? You know, for me, like, 
I went to, I, I, my 20s, I don't want to say like I ruined my 20s because I didn't. I enjoyed my 20s. I spent my 20s in like pretty much a constant state of anxiety, worrying about like student loans and getting my degree and going to college and doing all these things. And now, f and, and like kind of losing my mind over that and getting my master's degree and like getting up and doing all that stuff to land myself in a job where I was making like 25K a year, 30K a year for like an insane amount of work that was being a teacher. And then when I started playing Mario on stream and, and started streaming on Twitch, like my life kind of turned around in a lot of ways. <laughs> so so now, now I just play video games online. So like, I don't know. I'm definitely one of the lucky ones for sure. Now, if I say, give me money, people give me money online. Like, you know, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't recommend that as a career path for people, but I almost feel like playing by the rules is, is not what it should be. You know, like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe don't play by the rules is the actual thing. It's bait, don't do it. It's like what you're supposed to do and what you yeah. actually do. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't have any of the wisdom there. I got my degree last year and I've been searching for a job ever since. Uh, thank you for the bits. Appreciate that. Thank you, Glurka Glucar, for the 100 bits. Thank you, Colin. Appreciate the bits, man. Thank you very much. I'm not really giving advice. What I'm saying is just... Uh... Hey, Mario. That big old 500 saying. pound son of a bitch, Bowser, just took the damn princess and used all the star power to put everybody in paintings. Now I need you to take your ass inside those paintings and recover the stars with a little bit of jumping wood, a little bit of punching wood, and a little bit of ass whooping wood to save Princess Peach. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Toad said so. <laughs> Uh, Ghost of Starman, thank you for the bits. Thank you very much. Carcassa, thanks for the bits. Huncho, thanks for the bits. Chad Patty, thanks for the bits. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. If you're saying take control of your life, don't cry for it to be given to you. Seems solid. I don't know if that's exactly what I'm saying. I think what I'm saying is that I am insanely lucky. And the thing I was going for and I thought I was going for ended up just being like, I don't know. It's like I was chasing an illusion. And I just got lucky with what I did. I'm not really, I don't have any wisdom for you beyond I'm really lucky. <laughs> That's it. I'm really, really lucky. I have, I, I offer you no wisdom and I'd caution you if a super, a super privileged streamer who's incredibly lucky pretends to have the, the answers to your life, I'd caution you to not listen to that person. I'm just lucky, dude. I'm just really lucky. <laughs> oh, I need to get momentum there. Don't listen to a streamer. If they've got the answer, don't listen to them. I heard, give me money. Here is money. I'm doing my part. Good advice. Uh... Ace Carm, thank you for $5. Yeah. Jelonium, thank you for 500 bits. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Thank you, dude. And now, Vimp gets money by timing people out and screaming at games. I learned words I didn't even know existed. That man child with bad temper is entertaining. Lots of guard love. Oh shit. Oh god, I thought I thought I was gonna die. Uh MG Scott, thank you for the nine gift subs. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jelonium. Bro, I'm def I'm sorry, like I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm definitely lucky. I'm definitely lucky. I appreciate it. I'm swapped to a new one. Definitely very lucky. Uh, Dumb Chest, thank you for the $5. Of all the people you should take financial advice from, Dumb Chest is probably somewhere at the bottom of the list. For the record. <laughs> somewhere near the bottom.
<laughs> okay, wait. We're not going to die. Wait. What kind of fucking horse shit is this? <laughs> He's a legit hedge fund manager. Was he like Patrick Bateman? <laughs> He's like, oh my god. The Paco Gutierrez, co the Paco Gutierrez copy pasta. It's the greatest thing I've ever read. Oh, it's sublime. <laughs> I must have it. <laughs> What's that, <laughs> Bean? <laughs> uh, Moby Dew, thanks for 600 bits. Thank you very much. NG Doc, thank you for the 43 months. Solid financial advice. Give Barb at least 500 bits, followed by this copy pasta. Beach, mouse, beach, mm, beach, close. mouse. See, six, 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 see your card. Six, 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 beach, mouse, beach, beach, mouse. See, six, 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 beach, mouse, beach, beach, mouse. See, six, 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 six. Ori Pinas, thank you for 33 months. NG Doc, thank you for the 43 months. I'm the Walrus, thank you for 43 months. Paco Gutierrez, thank you for the 600 bits. Jam. Cerveza Cristal. Don't chest wealth management, helping you learn how to maximize your copy pasta returns. Hello, I am Paco Gutierrez. Rat Jam. Hey, that was sick. Okay. All right, Go there's more. And take my money, Barblauf. What the fuck? The hell is this shit? Uh, TV Jake, thank you for the 28 months. Thank you, TV Jake. Um. Um. <laughs> I don't think that was it. <laughs> um. Hmm. Now, a uh, question. I want to try. I want to try something real quick. Okay. So once the fish is dead, you can't like bounce off of it anymore. Hmm. What can I possibly do here? Interesting. Uh, TV Jake, thanks so much for 28 months. Thank you guys for the hype train. Uh, Daggers, thanks 150 bits. Thank you very much. What on earth can I do here? Uh, Hannah B, thanks for bits. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. What's up, Sock Mess? How's it going, dude? I have an idea. I have an idea. If I put this here... It will affect the fish spawn. Okay. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Really good level. That was a, that might have been one of my favorite levels so far. G-Breeze kind of had like a morsel vibe to me. Kind of had a morsel vibe, but that was, that 